Hi there, Stephanie Bryan, Garden Girl at Two Bees in a Bucket here with you today to share some quick photo editing tips using PicMonkey, an online free photo editing service, as well as Photoshop Elements. The first photo editing program that I wanted to walk you through is PicMonkey. It is free, um, it's online, you just open your photos and you edit. You can also do a couple other things like um, it has a design element, you can make photo collages, but I'm going to walk you through the editing process. It's really easy to do. When you go to PicMonkey.com, this is going to be your main screen that opens up here. Just go up to the top and click edit. Here, it's going to ask you where you want to open your photos. I'm going to open mine from the computer. And I'm going to grab this photo here of my daughter. Um, as you can see, it's just a little darker around here. I usually try to play with my exposure on my um, manual and manual on my camera just to try to get as much light and brightness into my photos as I can while I'm taking them. So I don't have to really do any post um, processing after I upload my photos to my computer. So, but this one's a little dark. So what I want to do um, is brighten it a little bit. If you go over here to the left hand side, choose exposure here. Uh, it gives you a couple different controls here. Um, brightness, highlights, shadows, and then the contrast. So I think I'm going to brighten it. I'm going to play around with the brightness and it, this is really a personal preference here. You can play around with it, um, see what you like best. Couple considerations as we're doing it. Um, you can see if I go like super bright here, it's going to whiten out the whole picture. So, but maybe you want a really, you know, muted picture. You could totally print it that way. It's sometimes fun to play around and use pictures um, differently than they come out of camera. So in this case, I think I'm just going to brighten it just a little bit. I don't want to really lose her features or make her um, too, too light there. So I'm gonna do that and then I might just bump my highlights up just a little bit. I don't wanna go too much. Um, if you bump the highlights up, as you can see in a second, down here, this is called a white out. So uh, basically the whites of your photo really are no longer discernible. It's just pretty much completely white there. So that is something that you wanna kinda pay attention to um, when you're brightening or adding, adjusting the highlights. So I might bump it up just a little bit and then maybe do the shadows just a little bit. So that's going to take, um, as you can see, it's going to take the browns and the darker colors. I'm going to make it super dark so you can see what I'm talking about. It's going to bring those out a little bit. Usually if I um, play around with the highlights, I try to play around with my shadow too, just to help it give it a, a nice balance and keep kind of the different aspects of the photos there, the, you know, the wrinkles on faces or um, eyeballs, the, you know, the little veins in your eyeballs. I try not to take anything out of a photo that would normally be there. Maybe just brighten it, but not take anything out. This bottom one is contrast. You can see as I play with that, it's going to change the contrast of the photo and um, I think I'm pretty much just going to leave it right where it is. After you do that, you can just hit apply to apply those changes. And I think for this one, um, I'm going to go ahead and crop it here. And when you hit click this top one, crop, you can um, have, you'll have a drop down box here and you can choose what size um, you want it if there's one here. I'm just going to choose square because for my layout I want to use three square photos. So I'm going to crop it just like that. Um, something. So my son is over here being goofball, which he always is. And this page I just wanted to have about my daughter. So in this instance, I'm going to just crop him completely out of this photo. So you won't even know that he's there. It's not really distracting because you can't really see anything more than his head and his shirt is white. So it kind of blends in with the bedspread here. But um, you know, that is another way that you can kind of play around with your photos. You can edit it and make um, get the part of your photos, give it a little bit of a more dramatic feel, focus in on part of the face or a fe certain feature. So for this one, I'm going to crop him out and I'm going to apply that. 
And then I'm pretty happy with that. So all you're gonna do here is hit save and it's gonna open up the photo and I'm just gonna save it here. The I usually choose this pierce size, which is kind of the middle size, because I'm not gonna print this photo any larger than maybe at the largest four by four. So I'm not really, I don't need it an eight by 10 or eight and a half by 11. So if you just need it just a regular four by six or something along that line, you can choose this option and then save it to your computer. And there you go. Now I'm gonna give you a quick little walkthrough of Photoshop Elements. This is what I usually use if I am editing um, my photos. I usually use Photoshop Elements. I usually just open them all up in Photoshop and brighten or lighten them if I feel like they need it, save them and go from there. Okay, so to get started, this is, I use Photoshop Elements. Um, that's what I started on. I got a free trial, which I think you can still get. Um, from Photoshop or Adobe and I tried it and I loved it and I ended up purchasing Photoshop Elements. I think now you can do a, on a rental basis. Uh, somebody, uh, Wilna was talking about that the other day. So you might want to check that out and see if you can get a trial. So in Photoshop Elements, I just went to file and open, um, found my photo. This is the photo that I want to use um, and I'm going to show you how I usually do like a quick little brightening or lightening of my photos. So again, as I mentioned before, I try to do as much as I can when I'm taking the photo. So I play around with it in manual mode, try to get all the, the light that I can into my photo. If I'm still wanted a little bit brighter or just want to change something around, um, I open it here in Photoshop Elements. If you go over here, this is your layers section. If you go over here, um, there is a circle that looks like maybe a, a half moon here, or a full circle that has this little half moon here. This is going to give you a new layer, um, a new adjustment layer. So click on that, and I usually choose levels. Now there are a ton of different ways that you can do this. This is just the easiest way that I found, and I kind of started doing it this way, so I never really looked around or tried to change it in any other way. So I usually click levels. And when you click levels, it's going to bring up a little histogram here, and it's going to tell you the light and the darks and um, the mid So this is your um, your highlights, and this is your shadows over here on the darker end, and this, these are your mid-tones. And I usually just play around with the different um, little toggle toggles here and see what I like. So here I'm just going to bring in the highlights just a little bit. The rule of thumb um, in your histogram here is to bring it in um, right at the beginning of that curve. So um, bring that one in there uh, just a little bit and you can see as I play around with it how the photo kind of lightens and brightens a little bit. So I'm gonna bring that in just a little bit and because I moved that one, I'm gonna bring my shadow in just a little bit. And then this middle one, the mid-toned, I'm going to just slide it back just a little bit and it's gonna add just a little more brightness to that photo, but not too much. I don't, I don't want any of the characteristics of the photo to be washed out or um, muted out. So I'm just gonna do that just a little bit. And again, it's just fun to play around with it and see what you like best. Um, they're really, there is no right or wrong. I by no means think of myself as, I think of myself as a very novice photographer. I just enjoy taking pictures and I enjoy playing around in Photoshop and editing my photos. Um, so I don't consider myself a professional by any means. I just do what I like, which I think is the most important thing anyway. So I'm gonna play with it, I'm gonna leave it there. And again, as I mentioned before, um, so I, I want this, this picture to focus in on my daughter and then my son, I'm pretty sure it looks like he's kicking her right there. So I'm gonna crop him out of this. I'm just gonna go up here to image and it's gonna give you a drop down box and crop. And again, I wanna keep it square. So here are the aspect ratio, I'm gonna pick five by five. And I'm just going to Kind of focus in on her and take um, him out of this photo. So he 
it's not doesn't really focus on him. He's pretty blurred, and um, my layout is a sweet little layout to my daughter. So I'm just going to crop him out there, and then um, when you add a layer over here, you want to go up to the top and go layer and flatten your image, which is just going to take it back down to a a JPEG, and then um, you want to save it from there. If you wanted to save it as um, with the layers, you could go back and edit it. You can just save it, save it as a PDS file, which just means you can open it back up in Photoshop um, or Photoshop Elements and edit it or remove the layer or change it around. So I just, while I'm here, I want to open up this other photo because I think it's going to have a better histogram to show you. So this is the photo that I showed you in PicMonkey. Um, I'm going to go back over here to the adjustment layer and do levels. And there we go. So this, if you look over here um, on this left hand or the right hand side where you have this histogram, this is, um, there's a large space here, an empty space here. So that shows you that you have a little bit of room to bring, add some brightness into that photo. So here I'm going to go right until that curve starts to go up and then add my a little bit of shadow and then I'm just going to play with that mid-tone just a little bit to kind of brighten and lighten it without really losing her features or whiting her out too much. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that little histogram there. It gives you a little better visual. Um, and this photo is another photo that I am using on my um, layout today. It is straight out of my camera. so. This All three of these photos were taken at the exact same time, but just depending on where I was standing and if I was in front of the light or if the clouds were moving over the sun, um, I was just playing around with my exposure. So I love just to play around with the exposure, and this is a great example of this one. I didn't do anything. I just cropped it um, and printed it right out. Just a quick little tutorial. If you have any questions or any more information that you would like to know about any of these programs, again, I don't consider myself a professional, but I can definitely answer your questions if I can. Thanks, guys.